french fries. So I grabbed my potatoes out of our awesome potato bin that Tupper has that fit perfect into your pantry. And then I just peeled my potatoes and gave them a good little wash. And so what I'm going to use is my Tupper mandolin. So the mandolin stores like so, it comes with the blade protector and the um, two different blade options. The blades are stored below right down here. There's two different blade options. There is the zigzag blade, and then there's also the, let me move this over, the straight cut blade, which is this guy right here, and they just pop in and out. So super easy to use. Um, this part opens down here so you can clean these blades that pop up right here. So if you wanted to do like your homemade french fries that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys that. That's where you're gonna pop those are up. You're gonna open up your handle so you have a good grip on your counter because mandolins can be very dangerous, but not your Tupperware mandolin. And so there's nine different levels. There's really thick, there's really thin. I'm gonna show you guys all the different levels. You always, always, always use your blade protector. You basically take your blade protector, push down on the white part right here. It's like a little sombrero hat on your mandolin now. And so basically there's really thick, or there's really thin for doing like your scalloped potatoes or sliced um, cabbage, that kind of stuff. So thin, and then we have the super thick ones, okay? So there's the options. Um, if you wanted to do french fries, which is what I'm doing, you're gonna put these little prongs up that are in the middle, and you're just going to push it down. And so there you have it, you have your french fry. homemade french fries better than store-bought french fries then if it's breakfast and you want to make some hash browns or you want to chop up some apples for a salad or you want to chop up anything into a cube um, you're going to start between these two blades pull it up turn it push it down and you are then going to get your cubes check that out so now we're going to do hash browns for tomorrow morning okay so we got that then if you want to pop in your zigzag blade, you're just gonna pop this guy out. Take your zigzag blade, pop it right in here, like so, easy peasy. And then you are going to just go right down and you're going to do your zigzag cuts and just have fun with it, okay? Same thing, if you wanna do your waffle fries and get more fancy with it, you're going to start at the top, push down, turn it in between the blades, then push it down, and then there is your crinkle cut french fry. So that's what I'm making tonight for dinner. And last, but absolutely not least, you can also do your waffle cut. So I'm not the best at this one, but if your zigzags are going this way, you're gonna put it sideways, and you're gonna give it a nice push down. I'll try it once more. All right. Push a little bit harder. Oh, I gotta do a little bit thicker. But there you guys go. You guys kind of get the idea. We're trying to do some waffle cut ones as well. So there you have it. There's our Tupperware.